So I'm from the uh, St. Mary's School newspaper, and we were going through um, some YouTube videos, and we, we saw a video of yours, and we think that you guys have broken the laws of physics. Can you tell me more about that? The movement of the helium balloons in the Van and our video may seem like they break a law of physics. If you look a little closer, you'll see that they actually don't. You see, the helium balloons are less dense than air, and they respond to the slight changes in pressure, and the van speeds up, slows down, and changes direction. It's all about Newton's law of inertia. The balloons respond to the air pressure difference in the van by moving forward. When a van starts to move forward or accelerates, the balloon in the van will also move forward. This is because when the van moves forward, the air in the van tends to stay where it was and accumulates at the back of the van, creating a high pressure there and a low pressure in the front of the van. With this difference in pressure, the balloon tends to move from high pressure to low pressure, therefore it will move forward. When the air molecules move forward, they cause a buildup of pressure in the front of the van and a lowering of pressure in the back. When a van suddenly stops or slows down, the air in the van tends to stay in motion and continues to move forward, creating a high pressure in the front of the van and a low pressure at the back of the van. Because the blue moves from high pressure to low pressure, it will move backward. Alright, I think we got it. Awesome. Hello, my name is Shirley Gao, and to explain the blue in the car, um, I used the Show Me on the iPad. I just create, create a new Show Me, and then I insert the photo of a van. Um, I drew this on a paper and scan it into a computer. And then I can use these different colors to draw arrows to show how the um, air and the blue moves. And then I click on the record button to record the, and explain the blue. For our voices, we click on the record button. And then when we're finished, we just pause and stop. It will be saved. And then we can upload this file to the Google Drive. In order to edit the video and upload it to YouTube, we used Apple's own iMovie. We can edit the movie by cutting, dragging, and dropping parts of it to create the format that we want. With this intuitive software, we can also preview the video in real time and upload the entire thing to YouTube. Mobile EdTech, take your science education on the road.